letting go of old limiting beliefs such as not safe to be visible. Mm -hmm. how, did, how did that fuel your behaviors with food? When I gained more weight, I felt even more invisible to the world. Um, when I lost a bunch of weight, going through that divorce year, I, I lost a significant amount of weight. Yeah, there's a phenomenon called the divorce diet, actually. <laughs> right, right? You just don't eat because and you're so stressed out. Stressed, but I mean, and I was working out like a fiend and I was doing karate and I was rock climbing. I was doing all these things, right? And skiing a lot. So I was doing a lot of things I really enjoyed, but, and I felt very strong and that was really great. I hadn't felt strong for a long time, but there was a lot of attention coming at me too, that I was like, not ready for, you know? So I could see that definitely that um, played a factor in like visibility and visibility things. And I think I've always just tried to um, fly under the radar. So to not like rock the boat, even like beyond like attraction or whatever, but like mm, spending a lot of time through childhood, my marriage, kind of walking on eggshells. So the more like retreated within, it was safer. Right. And I think the physical layer becomes that layer of protection. Can I, can I love myself even when I feel not very lovable? How can I feel comfortable in my skin as it is, still want to be stronger and keep making good choices, you know, from a place of self-love, allowing myself joy, right? yeah. <laughs> Just some like, you know, I, you know, I love music, right? Music is my thing. Like to be able to allow myself to like fly off and go to concerts and things like things I would never have done for myself, right? I'm allowing myself to do. I moved across country because I've always wanted to live near the ocean so just by allowing myself those things you know things that I never felt like I could have and to be able to do it um, with support of many people but also to pull it off on my own you know and make that happen so just you know I feel like those are all in the very early stages kind of incubating and that's exciting to me